What's going on today, people? You already know what it is, YBE, YBE TV. Uh, I got another question uh, in my Gmail account, and the question goes like this, from my man, Melvin. Yo, what up, bro? After watching your flatbed video, I had to shoot you an email. Shit had me cracking up, but it was so true. Anyways, this is what I got. Want to become an owner-operator. I'm 39 years old. I have good credit around the 730. Congrats. Uh, I've been with the company since I got my CDL, which will be two years in March. Got about 3K saved up. I've been slowly buying some flatbed equipment with the saving plan I have in place. I should be sitting around $10,000 in March. Long story short, want to get a truck and flatbed for Landstar. Any advice would be greatly appreciated to help me make the better decision. Well-informed decision. Bro, I'm going to tell you like this. Salute to you, bro. You are sitting in such a great position. And you show such strong character as far as going into this owner-operated thing. You already got a savings plan. And you're a company driver right now. You got the experience. You got the damn credit. I'm going to tell you like this, bro. The avenue that you got, I did never have. You got the credit. So, number one, you can go to an outside company and you can get a, a, a truck from off the lot. Now, you could go to, like, um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Aero Truck Sales. You could go to, it's different types of truck places that sell trucks. And you could go to them. Now, the thing is, when you go into these truck places, the one thing that you want to do is put $1,000 to the side. Number one, of course, you're going to need to fill your tank up. You're going to have to fill your tank up to get to wherever you buy the truck to, from to the next place over. And a lot of places, when you go to them and you sign your truck on, they will pay you for your travel to get there. They will pay you so many cent per mile, like 50 cent, 60, 70 cent per mile to get you up to wherever they at. Sometimes you might have to bobtail six, seven, eight hundred miles. Who knows? It depends on what a company and you said land stock. But you save that $1,000, that's for fuel, so you can fill up your tanks, and for your inspection. When you go to one of these trucking companies, and you're going to buy a truck, and you're buying a used truck, most likely, from what I'm saying, what I would think, that you're buying a used truck, you go in there and you say, okay, well, I want this truck, I really like this one, this, this, and this. Okay, well, I'm going to need insurance for a day, if they say so. Sometimes they won't. You go in there, and you say, all right, I want to take this truck to a mechanic. Let's say you get a freight liner. You take it, it's a Detroit Diesel 30 miles up. You take it to that Detroit Diesel. You pay for a one to two hour inspection. A one hour inspection should be fine. A oil sample, and you want to get that oil sample back so you can see where it's at. And you want to do a dyno. That's diagnostic. I always use uh, 50 Cent in the club video to kind of give you a general idea so you could kind of get a visual on what a dyno is. What a dyno is, is in the club video when 50 Cent had all them things plugged up to him and he was running on the treadmill and they was checking all his vitals and everything. That's what a dyno is, a diagnostic. They going to plug your truck up. They're going to put it on one of them running things where the wheel's spinning and they're going to build the resistance on it and it's going to make your truck think it's under a load. They'll be able to pull the horsepower off of it. They'll be able to get any type of codes it's going to throw. They're going to be able to kind of get a general idea of how your truck will run on the road under a load. The oil sample going to tell you if there's any metals, if there's anything like uh, an antifreeze mixing with the oil. It's going to tell you generally what's going on with that truck. That's like taking a blood test. Like It's like getting a blood sample for a human being on a truck. And then last but not least, that inspection, they're going to go through it with a fine tooth comb. They're going to... Make sure everything is okay. Ain't no play in this. They're going to go through it. And every little thing that they find, they write it down and they give it to you. You take it back to that dealership. But you make sure that you tell them, like, look, before I buy this truck, I'm going to get this checked out. And when I get this checked out, if I come back to you with a list of things, are you going to fix them? All right, put it in writing. That you're going to fix it because I'm taking it to get checked out. And most likely with these bigger uh, trucking uh, places where you buy from, you 9 out of 10 going to end up with some shit where they going to be like, okay, yeah, we'll do it, man. We'll fix it up, man. This, this, this. You come with a little list like where well, they said that the, uh, the, the clutch got a little bit too much play in it. That needs to be tightened up. I got an air leak and um, 
you know what I'm saying? Uh, one of the back tires is all is, is a little bit too low. They be like, all right, we'll take care of that. They knocked that out. So you good to go. Now, what you're going to do is the same type of thing. I'm going to do another video about how to uh, be a successful owner operator on the maintenance account, how to save, and I'm going to do it to that. So we'll get into that later, and I, I, I'll do that video later. But next is your credit score. That's what's going to be great because most companies, if you go through them, a lease program or a lease purchase program, you got a high payment every week, five to six to $700 for some of these trucks. You know what I'm saying? And that's per week, which means that every week they're going to take that out your check. You, you going to get your check and you just pay somebody else. Your truck note probably, depending on what year you get, 1500 bucks, And that's if you get like a old, a, a, a 2010 or 11 or 12 or 13. Like no, three years back, 2013, you probably paying about $1,500, $1,600 a month. Which means that that's under that's about four hundred dollars a week at most, and that's if you don't pay twelve hundred. You know what I'm saying? So that puts you in a great position because you can always overpay. Like you could just say, you know what, I'm gonna get them seven hundred dollars a week and send that to them. And then you have a time where your truck is down. You so far paid up ahead, you be like, look. I'm not sending in a payment this week. Matter of fact, this month I want to skip a payment. They're going to be like, shit, you like, you 15 payments ahead, man. Like, you paid up for 15 months and you only in your fifth month. You could take five months off, shit. We want to gain some of that interest. You like, no, just a month because I'm down. So that puts you in a great position. And last but not least, that credit score after you get some paper, a paper trail showing that you've been running the business, for like, let's say you do this for six months. You do this for six months, bro. And you got the paper trail saying you've been bringing in three grand a week. And you picked a great company. Last off, from what I know, the nay side is that sometimes it be eh, on the amount of freight. But from what I know and what I, I kind of heard about them, they got a good rate. I think it's what, 67% of the load, 100% of the fuel surcharge. They pretty strict on safety. So you've been doing this for two years. You know the game. But, man, I'm telling you, bro, like, I swear to God, last time from what I know, it's some guys over there making bank, bro. They making two, three, four grand a week, man. So if you go over there and you picking your own loads and you ain't scared of no goddamn work, you going to make some money. You going to make some money. Only thing I would say is, Start paying ahead on that truck when you get it. And when you get that, uh, when you get that paper trail, make that phone call. Hello, American Express. Melvin speaking. $25,000 will do fine. All right. Here go my EIN. Oh, last but not least. Yes, Melvin. This is the last thing that I want to tell you. Make sure you get that EIN. When you go get that truck, make sure you establish your LLC. Your limited liability corporation is not that hard. Go to your state website and you get that started and then go to the IRS website and get that electronic identification number and get that bank account and then put that truck under your business name. And when you go to American Express and you get that business credit card, you will start building your business credit, which means that you can get business lines of credit later. Bro, you are in sent on a fucking gold mine. I'm so goddamn proud of you. I wish you was my blood brother, man. Keep kicking some ass, and I hope I answered all your questions and gave you some good-ass ideas. If not, hit me up again, and I'll make another one just for you, Melvin. You already know. I salute you. If you don't want to end up in the box, think outside of it. YB. Kill her to kill or a drill of the drill. She just being yourself is the definition of real.